This old transit van needs a kick up the backside. Call me a cab. Oh, well, here we go. Another day, and here's another dollar, so to speak, but there's no dollars being made because I'm working on my own van. This transit van. Now, as you know, we've done all the front now, so I thought I'd tackle the next hardest bit, which is the rear, the bit under the door, apparently. I know there's a couple of other little spots, about three or four other little spots on the back wheel arches or just inside the wheel arches on the um, cross members and stuff like that, but they're only patches. This bit looked to be quite um, perforated, uh, should I say, and uh, what I'm gonna have to do there is to take the rear bumper off. Now, as you know, the, the rear bumper on this model, it's got a plastic case all around it. And let me just show you how that's held on. I've actually taken it off, but, and I've got the added uh, thing of uh, a tow bar fitted as well. So I'm having to drop that off as well. But let me just show you how to take these plastic bumper covers off. Well, this is the first thing that you take off. And this is the bit that goes across the bottom of the doors. And underneath you've got one, two, three, four 10 mil bolts, and then just as you open the doors on the inside, you've got, in which case I had four Phillips screws, but someone had uh, obviously put some extra screws in there. This has obviously been off before. So that is what takes the bumper cover off and you're left then with the main bumper bit and also the, the bends that have got to come off. This is this corner. And if I can just hold that as it is, that goes like that. And this bit goes like that. So that is has the bumper is fitted to the vehicle and there's also a little black cover that goes just where that hinges but that only pulls off anyway so what you've basically got is um two of these clips or studs that have got a pin in the middle and you're basically supposed to pop the pin out but these are aluminium and all i basically done was put a chisel or a screwdriver behind and hit it with a hammer and broke off the uh, top of the head that was the easiest way so on the inside of the door as you can see you've got one there and one there I broke the heads off of them and they're literally just inside the door there, uh, there and lower down. And likewise, on the wheel arch side, you've got, uh, again, one, two, three. Two that hold the main bumper on, which looks like uh, I had a mud flap on here as well, and just one holding that top bit. So once you actually pop them out, what you've got then is to literally pull the bumper off or the bumper cover off, and that's what you've got. So as you can see, all you've got there is them two clips that you've got basically got to pull out of. But look what I found beneath the bumper. I've had a little tap of this. But look. <laughs> look at that little baby. Now again, none of this is seen. And I, it wasn't picked up on the MOT, obviously. But um, the bit that was picked up on the MOT was along the bottom brace, which I'll show you in a minute. But um, I will have to possibly do something with this. I might have to just put a plate over this whole lot. It's not seen. I'm not going to cut corners out. I'm not going to cut everything out here and replace. It's Again, as I said to you, it's a repair job at the end of the day. Uh, so I may just put a, a patch over this. I'm not sure yet. Cut this out as far as I can and just put some sort of curved patch over there. So, yeah, I didn't expect that. The other side, as you can see, seems to be a lot more sound. I'm not going to go too mad there, but... Um, it's a uh, it's a bit more solid. There's them clips, as I said to you. So you've literally got to pull that bumper away. Right, you're under the van now, and I'm at the back end of the van. And I don't know what you can see, but um, I've got this big bracket on here, as you see. The work that needs the welding is underneath here, uh, on this plate here, on this uh, chassis rail here. So I've got to take this whole back bumper section off, and that involves me dropping this uh, bracket as well because once you take the bolts out of here, you can actually slide this bumper off of the chassis rail. So that's what I'm gonna be doing now. I've loosened every, all the bolts up. So I'm hoping to just, oh, literally, let's take the weight of that. I've taken the other side out. So I'm literally just gonna pull this bolt out, drop that down, and I'm hoping that I've got enough slack on that cable here, which I bet I haven't, to just drop that down like that. There we go, that's not too bad, is it? There we go, is it? I don't want to pull on that cable, you see, that's what I'm worried about. It's a little bit tight, but uh, I've got a little bit of slack there. Right, so I've got a bit of slack there. So now I can um, drop the rear end down because I need that bolt out 
the back there, the two back bolts, to be able to pull this bumper away. You see, so again, I might need to I'll hold this up because of that cable being tight. So I'm going to drop the other in first. I don't know if you can see that, can you? I've undone the bolt, as I say, it's just literally uh, holding on there. Let me get me in the under here. Just like that. This is quite a weighty unit, you see, this... this um, Right, that's undone now, so I should be able to jiggle and pull that bolt out. And then pull this bolt out. There we go. There's a washer that side as well, I must remember that. So that's that. So that can drop that end down. And again, I want I don't want no sort of weight on that side there, so that's that bit done. So I need to do exactly the same to this end. And drop this bumper down then. And I'm hoping that I won't be stretching my cable because I'm hoping to be able to slide the bumper or the bracket this way. So again, I need to take the weight of this while I pull it out. So I might have to get my leg under there just to hold the weight. Yeah. Would help if I had someone in here, to be honest with you. Probably a two-handed job. There we go. It's coming out. Whew. It's a bloody weight. It's right on the edge. Right on the edge. Come on. There we go. There we go. That's it. Now I can slide this along this way, you see. Like that. That would probably be a two-person job to get that back in, I would have thought. So, that's that. And, if I just open that door, this bumper should, hopefully, pull backwards. There we go. There we go. Now you can see that bracket a lot better now, look. So let's get that out of the way. Woo! And let's have a look at what we're left with under here. Right, so looking at this chassis rail here, in actual fact, it's not as bad as a fault. This is the part that they pulled up on the MOT, as you can see. It's got the yellow box around it. That's the bit I saw extra, which I anticipated the whole thing being rusted. But looking along the whole length of it, it's actually... It's solid. So we're okay. This turns out to be just probably a patch along here. And I'll give all that a wire brush down, obviously, and give that a coat of uh, Vac Tan and uh, Pour 15. So, oh, that's not too bad. Well, that's a good sign. So, there you go. All in all, um, the bit which I thought was going to be the most difficult or hard job, because that looked like that whole lot was corroded, has actually turned out to be probably one plate. So, I'm happy with that. So, all this is going to be a rub down uh, with the wire brush, coat it with some uh, Vac Tan treatment, and then I'll pour 15 the whole lot. The only bit I've got to sort out, I didn't really need to because I could just put this away and no one would know anything any different. But I am going to do something with this because I can't leave it like that. And it will get all cut out and treated with Vactan, just for my own peace of mind anyway. So, okay, so I'm just going to have a clear up here and I'll come back to you shortly. See you in a minute. I've, get the, I've got the old flappy disc there, as you can see there. And I've gone along the whole of the uh, chassis rail there. And I don't know if you can see, but it's actually come up pretty well. The only holes I've got, as you said, as I said, were these uh, two holes there. So all I'm going to do now is just give this a coat with the old Vactan treatment. You know this, um, there we go, this old Vactan treatment. This has turned out to be a godsend, this stuff. It's really saved the day. So um, as I say, I'm just going to coat all this up now and uh, I'm going to do the whole chassis rail. And what I've decided to do here is I've ground down the fresh metal there, as you can see, along there. And also down this side as well there so I'm gonna get a plate and go over this whole lot straight down there uh, along the bottom here fold it under and then tack it onto this ledge down there that's what I plan to do there and also put a little patch over this there so I'll bend the metal it's only gonna be a slight kick on the end of it anyway so uh, and don't forget all this is gonna be over the bumper so once I've got the metal to shape 
and I've laid it on there and it looks okay and then I'm just going to literally get the cutting wheel and cut all of this out so all of this will be gone and you add the new metal which I can patch in there so anyway I'm just going to get my goggles on so I don't want nothing dripping in my face like that get me a little container give it a bit of a shake shake and not stir Mr Bond <laughs> and I'm going to coat that whole beam in vac tan before I zinc prime it and also then it will be pour 15 after I've done the welding as well so just like the front so that should obviously be a lot more protected than what it was lovely jubbly There we go, if we can get a better shot of it now, there you go. That's all that uh, beam now coated. And as you can see, it's turning the um, the blue colour it goes when you uh, get that chemical reaction to the rust. So yeah, I'm well pleased with that. As I say, there's only the one hole in there, or two holes rather, down that end. Just past that pin sticking out, so I'll just put a plate over that whole lot. I've not jacked the, jacked the van up to do this by the way, as I say, I'm still laying on the deck. It probably would have been a bit more, a bit better if I had uh, the van up on axle stands, and that would have given me more room, but um, I think I can actually weld under here okay, so I'll probably be alright with this, but um, as I say, it's a, it's, a, it's a matter of how far you go. Now the van looks to have some sort of undersealing, but what sort of happened is the underseal that's been applied to it has sort of peeled away, and that's where the walls has got in, and um, basically rotted out certain parts of the beams and all that so I mean realistically it's an old transit van I'm not going to go around and do every single beam now every beam has obviously got surface rust on it but uh, as I say it's a matter of where do you stop with this sort of work so I'm only concentrating on the area which needed doing which was that patch there okay I'm taking in the whole back rail and I'll uh, paint and treat all that for one because it was very very flaky and it is solid underneath so I might as well do that and that's the only sort of reason why I'm doing the whole beam of this anyway okay then we're not going to let this go off now and then um, perhaps try and work on some sort of uh, fabrication of the panel for the side and also for the patch underneath so that leaves it, I'll leave you here with this little video so uh, yeah so I'll see you uh, in the next video where hopefully we'll have this patched up and uh, painted thanks very much See you again in the next video. Bye for now.